the Ivy League education? Have you ever wondered why you're not getting the callbacks for jobs after you've worked so hard to get that degree? Or why your career path isn't going the way you want it? Have you been confused on what major or professional field to choose? Six Figures by 30 provides a five-step career plan and gives tips on best practices for building a strategic resume, negotiating, interviewing, managing salary jumps, avoiding career killers, landing promotions, and much more. This book is designed to be your career compass that will reduce detours and propel you to six-figure success. This book has created the secret sauce your career stew needs to get on the fast track to six figures. In reading this book, expect to develop a clear six-figure career plan, customized for you and your professional field. You'll learn how to develop a standout resume using the proper keywords and phrases in your industry to catch the recruiter's eye. You'll also learn ways to navigate salary increases, interview do's and don'ts, managing your brand, navigating job or career changes, and much more. Why gamble with no plan? Bet on your success. The first step is believing. You can do it, and the next step is cracking this book open and getting started. Don't waste another day procrastinating. Purchase on Amazon or by going to the website, sixfiguresby30.com. That's the number six, figures by the number 30.com. Sixfiguresby30.com. All entrepreneurs, internet marketers, multi-level marketers, business people, social network gurus, social networkers, and advertisers meet on orusocial.com to maximize your traffic and get targeted traffic to increase your revenue and your company production. ORU is a powerful platform for entrepreneurs, networking, and social networking. Register today and grow your personal and business engagement. Don't forget, it's a social platform, so upload your profile and let's go. O-R-U-Social.com. That's O-R-U-Social.com. Imagine if your business could interchange skilled engineering and technology professionals as easily as changing a high-end car part. When one highly trained, skilled employee left the firm due to growth, dismissals, maternity leave, or retirement, anything like that, you can replace them with another that fits their position perfectly. Just like that. Your automotive, manufacturing, financial, or healthcare business is running again like nobody ever left. Now, people aren't parts, obviously, but a resource that allowed you to always hire the exact type of highly skilled employee you needed could lower your costs significantly. How? Simple. Hiring and training new employees is expensive. Losing a trained employee because they didn't fit your corporate culture is also expensive. If you always found the right people, you can lower costs and increase productivity significantly. That's exactly what Seek Recruiting does. Contact Seek Recruiting today, 888-991-5833. Once again, that's 888-991-5833 to contact Seek today. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show, brought to you by FootballSportsApp.com. Yeah, the first live-action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to get in the game, make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video, download for free this fall, and register again at FootballSportsApp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? You can do it. Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS. I've been talking about it for the last couple of uh, shows. But the opportunity to become an affiliate um, where you can actually make money by spreading the word about United Games and FootballSportsApp.com is coming to an end here in the next, like, week and a half. Uh, There's a $30 fee right now. Uh, The price actually goes up to $40 in the next two weeks, so within the next two weeks. Uh, So if you'd like to become an affiliate for only $30 right now still, uh, you can do it. All right, go to FootballSportsApp.com at the bottom of the website. Fill out the short form and mention TDSS. And what we'll do is we'll send you back some information, man. This thing is set to be big. It's set to launch here very soon. It's going to change the game. It's going to change the industry. Once again, footballsportsapp.com. Okay, so I'm convinced now. I'm convinced now that uh, that there's somebody trying to play a joke. Somebody probably new to the show. We got a lot of new listeners every day. 
Uh, I'm convinced now that somebody just trying to be an asshole, uh, for, for lack of a better term. All right, because clearly, Byrne wouldn't change his avatar uh, from what he had it to to what he has it at now. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it's very simple for us to ban you from the chat room, period. Uh, so, I mean, please, I mean, please, I just ask, respect me. Respect my authority. I respect this show. Clean your feet off before you come into this show. Stop it. Take that foolishness somewhere else down the dial. Take it somewhere else down the dial, man. All right? The Stewies and, and this show and the family, I mean, we got a good thing going on around here. Don't come in here trying to mess stuff up. Damn! Ninjas! Chuck, Chuck down Frank, Doug, you infringing on Vern's civil rights. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Damn, man. Jeez. Jeez. And I try to have a fun. This Woman Wednesday and the Avatar thing is a new thing. It's a new thing. So we never had no issue like this before. And, yeah, I guess I, I basically put a big-ass stake in front of y'all dogs, and this is what you do. So it's partly my fault. It's partly my fault. Well, all I'm asking, please, is just, uh, let's just let's just keep it, you know, R-rated, okay? Can we just keep it R-rated, not X-rated, man? I mean, some of this stuff I'm looking in here, man, it's just, it's despicable. Thank you for my man T. Orling, her yams dub. Thank you very much, sir, for that avatar. Make sure you email me that picture. Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Hey, um, before I forget, and I'll mention it a couple of more times today on the show before we get out of here at 12 noon Eastern time, don't forget, three hours of the Doug Stewart Show coming up soon. Coming up soon. Um, but um, uh, I forgot to mention at the top of today's show, man, uh, immediately following this podcast at 12 noon Eastern time, this show is live right now, if you're listening right now, uh, at 12 noon Eastern time, man, we've got Marcus Harper's Sports Talk with Soul coming up at 12 noon, immediately following this show. All right. So Marcus Harper Sports Talk with Soul at 12 noon. My man Marcus Harper's, uh, California's own sultry sound and voice and tones of Marcus Harper. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be talking about the evolution of the quarterback position. That should be very interesting. That should be very interesting. He's going to be talking about the evolution of the quarterback uh, position. And clearly... That's in reference to these dual threat quarterbacks, which from now on, and I thought about this last night, um, from now on, man, um, matter of fact, I'm going to wait and tell you the nickname that I got for these new dual threat quarterbacks because I need to make sure and, and, and copyright the domain. <laughs> but I got a new cute name for these new dual threat quarterbacks, man, and clearly this weekend, man, uh, I, maybe this conversation is coming up for Marcus because this weekend, man, is Deshaun Watson – Versus Lamar Jackson, Louisville at Clemson, uh, Death Valley. I mean, that's going to be crazy. Crazy. That's going to be crazy. Like, I was super, super excited when Florida State went to Louisville, you know, to see the, the uh, Francois kid, the, the freshman quarterback, go up against Lamar Jackson. And now that... Louisville has continued to win and win dominantly. This man, Lamar Jackson, has accounted for 25 touchdowns. I'm sure you've seen that stat on ESPN on how many you know teams don't have 25 combined touchdowns at this point in the college football season. So this weekend, man, I mean, I need to look at the line for this, but uh, <laughs> Lamar Jackson and the Louisville Cardinal, man, have just been playing phenomenal. Like, I don't think anybody's going to, stop them from scoring. Like, they're going to score 40 points, right? Uh, watching what they've done this year, they're going to score 40 points. Uh, it, it's got to be a shootout. Like, this isn't going to be a low-scoring um, game. There's just no way possible. The the X factor in this game, though, we'll talk about it more, obviously, on Friday. 
Um, man, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to do the show on Friday. Uh, I got to go see a man about a horse. I got to verify that. I'll let you know about that tomorrow. You're listening to the Doug Stewart show. Uh, but I will let you know more about that tomorrow if we aren't able to do the show Friday. So if we aren't, we'll, we'll preview the funky four, the four biggest games uh, coming up this weekend in college and in pro. We'll do that tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, but I'll give you more on that uh, as I find out. I, I will find out today. I have uh, uh, some business to tend to Friday. Um, but the, the, the X factor in this game, Clemson and Ellis uh, and Louisville, I can tell you this right now, is the fact that it's in Death Valley. Like, I think that on a neutral field, I, I think you would have to take Louisville. Um, they're just playing phenomenally right now, and there's, there's just no way to stop this Jackson kid, who's clearly the Heisman favorite right now. We'll talk about the Heisman Trophy a little bit later in today's show as well. Deshaun Watson's a phenomenal player as well. Um, so, I mean, they, they kind of cancel each other out. I just think that Louisville, man, is just playing at a different level right now. Clemson's kind of struggled the early part of this year. So we'll see. One last story, man, concerning social injustice and protests. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. The Atlanta Hawks will fully support its players who choose to protest. Ball award before I even talk about the story. Um, you remember last year that, that story with Tybo Cephalosha in New York? Uh, the Hawks had played up there. I can't remember if it was Brooklyn or if it was the Knicks. But he got basically abused by the police up there. Uh, They actually ended up throwing out the case totally, exonerating him from any charges or anything like that, man. Here's a quote from Tybo Cephalosha. To be honest, looking at some of the footage that we see from Tulsa and Charlotte, I feel lucky to be here and to talk about what happened to me, said Tybo Cephalosha who suffered a broken leg and ligament damage during an arrest in New York in April of 2015. To be honest, it could have went many different ways. I think I'm lucky to be able to speak about it. It's been going on for years now. It's a touchy subject, but it needs to be addressed. It's a, ne- a, necessary, uh, it's a necessary conversation, and hopefully it can happen without violence and all demonstrations going on. Uh, the Hawks and Coach Budenholzer says that the the team and the organization will be incredibly supportive of our players. Only right here in ATL. The birthplace of the civil rights movement. The city too busy to hate. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's only proper that the Hawks organization uh, will be supportive of these players. In Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is Chocolate City. And so definitely, I mean, a smart move. And you know what else has probably helped the the Hawks come to this decision that they will be totally supportive in the players is the missteps by some other cats over the last couple of weeks, okay, and understanding where your bread is buttered. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I just mentioned it in the last segment. That dude Paul Feinbaum, uh, Dabo Sweeney, Jim Harbaugh, somebody said in the chat room Mike Dicka. I ain't talking about Mike Dicka's old punk ass. You've, you've heard the comments Mike Dick has uh, made. Uh, Mike Dick went down that path of, if you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. You can go back to Africa. <laughs> F you, Mike Dick. And so what happens is, is these teams, uh, including the Hawks, see the result in the backlash from the public when you speak out on protests. You speak out on people, you know, uh, uh, you know, talking about the injustices here in this country. You know, you see what happens when you come out and you say something dumb as hell, like go back to Africa if you don't like what we do around here. And especially with Danny Ferry, that whole situation with the front office, man, the Hawks learn from his past. It's learned from these other cats' mistakes. And uh, they better be supportive of the players when they protest, if any at all. Yeah, yeah. Four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Um. Okay, Chief Rocker Vern from Jersey. I see your avatar. I mean, that's within the bounds of what we're doing around here. But that kind of makes me think that it was actually you that were posting those nasty avatars earlier. 
So I'm disappointed, Vern. I am so disappointed in you.